Hey there, this is Brad again. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, kind of a welcome video part two. This is the, um, hopefully at this point you've looked at video one. If you haven't, stop this video, go back and check that one out first. And then uh, hopefully you've ordered your supplies because this is once you get your supplies, all right? So hopefully you've got your, your pencils and your pen and uh, you got your sketchbook. And again, it's 11 by 14. I think that's the best size for you guys. Anyway, I got my sketchbook here in front of you. This is a brand new sketchbook for this quarter. Um, it's still pretty empty because I'm going to be doing this class along with you. I'm going to be ahead um, so you guys can see my demos, but I'm going to be doing the same same work. Anyway, so I got my sketchbook and I just wanted to show you guys um, what I did. Um, when I got this, I just wanted to make it my own. There was a drawing here of this lady and I've seen her you know, probably 10,000 times or more. Um, and it's got this drawing by, uh, I think his name is William Rose. All right, and it's a great drawing, but I just don't want to see it anymore. William, this isn't William's sketchbook, this is my sketchbook. And I want to take ownership of it. And so I want you guys to take ownership of this class. Take ownership of this sketchbook, make it your own, draw on it, collage on it. You know, if you want to cut up old baseball cards and collage, you know, whatever you want to do, just make this sketchbook your own. All right, and so that's what I did here. And then, um, if you guys have seen like that first module with the getting started, there's a practice submittal. So hopefully you guys will do that here really quickly just to make sure that we can kind of work out some of the kinks of, of submitting things for the first time. And on that project, it says, you know, write your name and then just put an inspirational quote for the quarter. All right. And so um, I did this too. And so you can see my name up here. And then I put a couple quotes because I couldn't help myself. Uh, the first quote is, uh, whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. And I think we can all kind of understand that. It's like, hey, if something's important, do a good job on it. Like if it's worth doing, if it's worth spending your time on, it, do, do it your best, you know? I think um, I look back on some of my classes that I took when I was in college, and there's some classes that frankly weren't taught very well, uh, but I got a lot out of them because I was just like interested in the subject matter and I just spent a lot of time and I, I dove into it and I, I took ownership of my education and I got a lot out of it. And on the other side, um, there's some classes that were probably taught very well, and I didn't, um, I didn't make the most of it, um, and I, I kind of regret that now. I, you know, I passed the class, and I, you know, I got surface level information, but I didn't get as much out of it as I probably could have. So anyway, take ownership of this class and, and do a good job. Do the best you can. Um, and then I have another quote on here. It says, "If a thing is worth doing, it is worth doing badly." And this is by uh, G.K. Chesterton. And I might be taking it slightly out of context, but I think the point is, look, sometimes we can be um, paralyzed by fear. We can be uh, afraid to, you know, start things at all, if, like not doing things. Um, you know, so I just, I've, I've experienced it so many times of just like being afraid to try something and being bad at it. And so for those perfectionists that are out there, just know that I'm with you. I understand it. But if it's worth doing, um, it's worth it's worth doing poorly. You know, like I, I'm a dad and I like I just want to be honest with you. I'm not I don't know that I'm great at it. Like I, I don't know that I'm always perfect. But the one thing I do know is it's worth doing. It's not it's it's you got to just like do the best you can. And as you do it, it's just like withdrawing. You're going to get better the more you do it, even if they're horrible. You just keep on keep working at it and things will get better. And so don't be afraid of failure, you know, just embrace it. So do your best, but if it's not good, keep doing it anyway and you'll get better. And so that's, I just made my own little conclusion because it's the same thing. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing. All right. And so anyway, uh, hopefully do that. I'm going to have to make a long conclusion about it, but just do that. Try the submittal, make sure it works. And then we're going to be uh, on to our, our first drawing of this week. And you'll see these in the exercises um, on that week one of your blind contour, which I have a video up uh, available on the canvas too. So check that out and we'll see you next time.